Hi, this is a picture of the finished product that you will be recreating. Okay, so what you want to do before you start anything is you're going to want to start by parting your hair right down the middle of your head and then tying off one section of your hair. Then you're going to grab um, a section of hair um, on the front of your head and then you can split that section into three equal parts and I had a little bit of trouble doing this at first um, don't worry make sure they're as even as possible though now you can choose to do a French or Dutch braid for this I chose to do a Dutch braid because I thought you know uh, it would look better if I had a little pop to my braids so you can choose to do whichever one you want though You can also choose if you want to make your braids loose or tight. I made mine very tight because I want a very nice curl in the morning. As you can see, I'm not going to do a tutorial on how to French braid or Dutch braid. Um, if you want to learn how to do that before coming to this video, I would definitely recommend doing that. Now notice as I get um, just above my ear, I pull out a little bit of hair just in front of my ear um, and that's because I kind of wanted a bit of a little grown up look, not so all pulled back. I just wanted to make it look a little bit looser even though it's very tight. I just wanted to make it look a little bit, you know, uh, not so pulled back. So that is optional, you don't have to do that though. And here I turned around so you could see a back view of what I was doing. It's not very clear, but, you know. Now I've got to the end of my French braid, um, I have no more hair left to pick up so I'm just going to continue down doing a regular braid. I didn't go down all the way because um, I was going to uh, do exactly the same thing on the other side and then put the two braids together. So I stopped very early on as you'll see. Here. So I turn it back I turn back around and then I just take a, a hairband and I just tie that off for the time being. And then I do exactly the same thing on the other. Okay, so once you have completed both braids on both sides, um you're going to want to turn around once I stop fiddling around. <laughs> Okay, so now you're going to want to take both of your braids and you're going to want to put them together as in a ponytail. Take both of the elastics out, don't let go of the braids. 
and then you're going to want to split all of that hair now into three equal parts make sure you add hair like from both braids into one piece as well had a bit of a tangle there and then you just want to go um then you're just going to want to go down all the way with just a regular braid nothing special about it And here you basically have like a Y braid, I suppose, um, because you know you have two braids coming down from the top and then going into one braid. It kind of reminds me of a Y. And then I turn around and I just pull the braid over my shoulder so I, then I can see what I'm doing and it's more comfortable for me. My hair's so long I have to move the camera down so you guys can see what I'm doing, even though it's just a regular braid. So you can go all the way down or you can leave a couple of inches, which is what I did. I didn't leave very many, but I think it just looks a bit better. And then I took a hair elastic, not a hairband. <laughs> and I just tied it off with a few tiny little elastic, which is harder to notice than a big roll, than a big bulky rubber band. So there, now you're finished and you can sleep in these. The next day you'll have beautiful curls.